Hi Marie, okay this uh, video is to demonstrate how to insert raster images into AutoCAD. So um, I use um, Adobe Acrobat Pro to convert a PDF to TIFFs and the way I do it is save as other and then I select image and then I select TIFF and then it asks me where I want to save those files to. So let's just presume that all that's been done. I've saved my PDF as TIFFs and they're each page of a report is is saved separately. So it'll say page one, two, three. Well, let me take let me take you over there and let you take a look at it. So I have a TIFF file where I keep all my TIFFs and here is a little medical office plaza that I worked on and Here's page 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 14. And I've gone in and deleted the pages that don't have to be part of the report, such as the cover page. So page 1 and 2 are gone. Uh, anything that's not ending in a dash 1, you know, like CF, uh, CF1R, um, in this case, they're the, the non-res form. So uh, I don't have anything outside of dash 1s. Okay, so now... I open up AutoCAD and I go to insert raster image reference <clears throat> I browse to my TIFF folder and I select page 3 everything is preset on the next two screens so all you have to do is click OK And from the bottom up, build your page. Okay, that's page three. Now, all we do is we go to page four. Page five. six etc 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 I'm just going to do one row to show you some other features here okay so now I can uh, I can Ralphie I'm recording Ralphie that's just my cat being ornery uh, right click move and I can center them okay I can make sure they're all the same size by selecting one right clicking on it is properties if you come over here you can look at the scale let's say it's 453 so I'm going to just round it off to 455 and then now I know it's 455 I can select the others go into here where it says scale and hit 455 and now they're all the same size likewise I can take the first one and if I like the the elevation within the drawing I can go to Y and say control C then come over here to the rest of them go back to Y where it says varies because they're all different and do control V for paste and hit enter and now they're all the same elevation and then you'd start your next row down the next row down actually is easier if you put on snap oops um, hopefully I did this right when you go to insert the next page three four five six seven eight if you click on this little corner, not click, but if you just put your cursor on this little corner corner, and then drag down, you'll actually get the guidelines so that you can be uh, you know, the same um, axis, axes. And you do the same thing. You just put them out there. Insert raster image 10. Come to this corner, pull it down, 
Now you have your spacing just right. And then it, you, you know this one is 455. So you just come over to this one, make it 455. And then this one, we just uh, right click and select rotate. Pull it down, move. Now, this one's a little trickier because we've rotated it so it's all screwed up. So what I do is I look, I go to this one, which is already sized, and I look at the width. It's 455, correct? So on this one, the height is going to be 455. 455, enter, boom, you're done. That's your lesson for today. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.